and hi welcome to my new font called Choose Love. Here I'm going to try and uh, demonstrate the differences between the three versions. Basically the font has two SVG versions which is full of texture and loveliness um, and it has a standard font just black and white. So the black and white version is called Choose Love Standard. You can see that here. The SVG color font has two versions SVG here and ligatures here. Due to the nature uh, and size of the SVG fonts, I've had to break it into two separate fonts. So ligatures are its own font and all the other characters and alternatives are another font. This enables me to add more ligatures to the ligature font without bloating out the file size too much. As you can see, the standard font still has a lot of texture but it doesn't have all the nuances uh, and transparencies that the SVG font gives you. The beauty of the font though, the standard font, is that you can use it anywhere and you can change the color in it, everything just like a standard font, really easily, and it's supported in every application just like a standard font. The SVG fonts are only uh, supported in the applications in the product description. So if we take a look at the standard font, the one I've got selected here, and you bring up the glyphs panel, you will see that if you change entire font to access all alternatives, when you click on a letter, if there are any alternatives available, they'll appear in this list. So if we took the L, for example, there are two other alternatives. Not only that, there's um, a separate character for the lowercase and the uppercase, you can see there. That's the lowercase and that's the uppercase. So if I type the uppercase or the lowercase, we get this big bold L. And if I didn't like that, I could sub that L out for one of these two here. So I could go like that. Um, the beauty of this is if you've got repetitive letters like I have up here, you can pick another version for that. So let's go for this filled in O um, this one's the same as that one up there, so let's go for this distorted O here. And you can see now I have a very unique look for this letter, for this lockup rather. Um, the C, I don't like that C very much, let's sub that one out for C. Now, this font does not contain ligatures. The ligatures are in Choose Love Ligature. So if we come up to this one now, you can see the L and the O have a unique lockup, the V and the E have a unique lockup. That's because ligatures are available for those. So if I select these, you can see up here, ligatures are, it's the ligature font and ligatures are turned on. And now on this side of the menu, I can see all the ligatures. So LO is this one here, and you can see all the others listed there. So it acts exactly like the other font. You can see VE, but if I don't want the ligatures for VE, I could switch that off and I get the standard two letters for V and E. If I select the E, you can see that the difference between this font and the standard font is I don't get all the alternatives for this E. If I want the altern all the alternatives for that E, I've got to change the font to the SVG font and instead of saying entire font, say access alternatives, and now I have all the other E's available to me. So I could sub that E out for this one. And the same with the O's up here. This is on ligature, so I'm not getting very much alternatives. And access entire font. You can see I'm not getting any alternatives for the E. So if I sub that over to SVG and then change entire font to access all alternatives, you can see all the E's, oh sorry, all the O's are now unlocked. So I'm gonna again go for this distorted one. And if I didn't want the ligature for L and the O, I could switch that off again and go to standard L and the O. Um, but I really like the alternatives for the L and the O, so I'm gonna switch that back on. And that's the difference between the font, the two fonts. If you need ligatures, you have to use this version. If you want alternatives, you have to use this version. Now onto the standard version, you can see the difference 
um, between the standard version. We're not getting all the texture as I described earlier. However, with the standard version, I should have all the alternatives built in. Um, let me just look. So there's all the O's and I should be able to access uh, the ligatures as well. So I have the ligatures. So if I come down to the L and the O and I switch ligatures on once this thing catches up with me, standard ligatures, then you can see now I've got the same ligature as the other font. Um, but So the beauty of this font is the ligatures and the alternatives are all built into the font. Also, this font has support for many, many different languages. And that's the difference between the three fonts. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line, but thank you for watching.